So today we'll be looking at HCF and LCM. Okay, HCF stands for the highest common factor, and LCM stands for the lowest common multiple. Okay, so multiple means times table, factors means the numbers that can divide. So I've put two questions on the board. I'm going to demonstrate two different ways of finding the HCF and also the LCM. So let's start off with this side. The question says find the HCF and LCM of the number 8 and 12. So what it means is that find the highest common factor, find the biggest number that can divide 8 and the same number can divide 12. That's the meaning of HCF. LCM means write down your 8 times table, write down your 12 times table, look for the number that is common on both sides. The first number you see that is on your 8 times table and the same number is on your 12 times table, that number becomes your lowest common multiple. Okay, so now let's look at how to find it. So now let's write down the factors of 8. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. I always prefer doing this way. This means find two numbers that times to give you 8. They cannot be decimals. It has to be whole numbers. So two numbers that multiplies to give you 8. Write all of them down. So I know I can have 1 times 8. That will give me 8. I can have 2 times 4. That gives me 8. According to my times table, there is no other numbers that I can multiply to give me 8. Now let's look at our 12. Write down all two numbers that multiplies to give you 12. The reason we write two numbers is because factors come in pairs. They have to be two numbers, okay? So in this case, I know 1 times 12. Always remember to write 1 and the number. That is the key point here. Another number could be 2 times 6. And then another number can be 3 times 4, okay? According to my times table, there is no other numbers that can multiply to give me 12. So now, let's look at the 8. We have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, so factors of 8 is 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, let's write down the factors of 12 that we have here. So 12 equals, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, 4, 6, and 12 okay so to find the highest common factor it means look at the factors here and look at the factors here what is the biggest number that you see on the 8 and the same number is in your 12 so when i look at this we have 1 and 1 2 and 2 4 and 4 there is 8 but we don't have any 8 here there is 3 there is no 3 here so the highest one amounts 1 1 2, 2, 4, and 4, the highest one we can see is 4. So in this case, my HCF, which is the highest common factor, equals 4. Okay, that's the way to go about it. Always write down the two numbers that multiply to give you the number. Write all of them down, including 1 and the number itself. Then you can write it in this way. Select which one is the highest one you can see. So if you look at it from here, 4 is here. If you look at it from here, 4 is there. So even from this point, it's easy to select the highest common factor. Now let's go to the lowest common multiple. Multiple means your times table. So again, I'm going to write down my 8 times table. Okay. So if you want to write down your 8 times table, we can do it either this way or we can do it this way. So I want to clean this board. And then we do it together in this way. I'll write the same question back down. It was 32 and 80. So that I don't forget it. So now let's write down our 8 and 12 times table. So I'm going to do it in this way. Okay, 8 and 12. 8 times 1 gives me 8. 12 times 1 gives you 12. Okay, times by 2. 8 times 2 is 16. 12 times 2, 24. We haven't seen any common number here, so we have to carry on. Okay, times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 
But can you spot something? Under the 8 times table, I have seen 24. Under the 12 times table, I have seen 24. As soon as you see a common number, then you stop. You don't need to carry on with your times table. There is no need for that because they are looking for the lowest. The L stands for the lowest, which means the smallest number on your 8 times table and also on your 12 times table. So in this case, I can see there is 24 here and I can see there is 24 here, which therefore means the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12 equals 24. Okay, so our HCF was 4, our LCM is 24. So this is one way of finding the HCF and the LCM of numbers. I'm going to do the second way, which is to find the LCM and HCF of the numbers 32 and 80. Okay, so this time we're going to find, so find HCF and LCM of 32 and 80. Okay. I'm going to do it in a different way other than this one. Now, this one that I'm going to do is what we call the product of primes. It's a new topic that I will treat entirely different. But product of prime means I'm going to write 32 using only prime numbers. And I'm going to write 80 using only prime numbers. So let's look at how we do that. Let's start off with the 32. Okay. Now. You are only interested in prime numbers. If you don't know your prime numbers or you will forget them, write them down. Prime numbers start from 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and I'll stop them and so on. These are prime numbers. So what it means is that I'm going to write this only using prime numbers. So find two numbers that multiply to give you 32. In this case, you cannot use 1 because 1 is not a prime number. So I can start off with 2. I know 2 times 16 gives me 32. You could have used 4 times 8. That is also 32. Okay. 2 is my, in my prime numbers. It's part of the prime numbers. So you cycle that because you will need only prime numbers. 16 is not a prime number. So you carry on. You keep working. You keep breaking it down until they all become prime numbers. So here I can use 2 times 8. Or I can use 4 times 4. They are all the same. So let's use 4 times by 4. 4 is not in my prime numbers. So I have to carry on. So I break 4 down and break this 4 down. 2 times 2 gives me 4. 2 times 2 again here is 4. 2 is a prime number. So you circle all of them. Okay. So now let's write 32 in terms of prime numbers only. So in this case, 32 in terms of prime numbers is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you can say I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In another way, we can write that as 2 to the powers of 5 because there are 5 lots of 2. So this is the prime product or prime factor of 32. I'm going to do this same thing for the number 80. So I'm going to clean this side and then we do the same thing for the number 80. So we're only interested, remember, in prime numbers. So let's start with 80. As I said, you can use any number, but I know that the easiest times table is my 10 times table. Any number times 10 end up with the number zero at the end of your answer. So 80, I'll use 8 times 10. Remember, you can start from any numbers with the exception of 1 and we still end up with the same answer. 8 is not a prime number, so let's break it down again. That will be 4 times 2. 2 is a prime number. So I break down 4 again. 4 is 2 times 2. So 2 and 2 prime numbers. I'm left with the 10. So I need to break 10 down because 10, remember, is not in our prime numbers. So let's break 10 down. If I break 10 down, 10 is 5 times 2. 5 is in my prime numbers. So I circle the 5 because we need it. 2 is in our prime numbers. So you circle the 2. 
we have broken down all the numbers. So let's write 80 as a product of 8 prime numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and then times by 5. So only the numbers that you have circled are the ones you will write. This we can write it as 2 to the power of 4 because there are 4 lots of 2 here times by 5. Now, it brings us to how we find the HCF and the LCM. Okay, so let's look at this one. So this is the second method. This method we use what we call the Venn diagram. Let's draw two circles here. Okay, my circles will not look that neat, but forgive me. Let's call this circle 32. Call this one the 80. So now we are going to write all the numbers here, the prime factors into this circle, okay? The middle of your circle means write all the numbers that are on your 32 and also on your 80. So the numbers you see on the 32 and you see the same number on the 80. So let's start. On the 32, there is two here. There is two here. So this two goes in the middle. You write only one of them because there is one common number. There is another two here. I can see there is another two on this side. So I can write another two in the middle. We have found two of them. This two is here. Again, there is another two over here. So I can put another two there because we have three numbers now. This two is here. There is another two over here. So I can put another two in the middle here. I have two here. Okay, so I'll put a box around these two. Because there is no other two over here. So this two in the box cannot go in the middle. It can only go to the other side of the 32 in the circle. So this two, you put it here. Then we go to the 80. We have 5 left, which is in the box. That cannot go in the middle because there is no 5 on the 32. So that goes on the side of the 80. Once you've been able to do this, then your work is almost solved. How do we determine the HCF? The HCF is the multiple of all the numbers that are in the middle. So your HCF means times all the numbers that you have put in the middle of your two circles. So in this middle of our two circles, we have 2, 2, 2, 2. So HCF means times them. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now let's find out what that is. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So our HCF is 16. Now let's find our LCM. Our LCM is times every number in the circles. So we are multiplying the number here to the numbers in the middle and the number here. So all the numbers together, times all of them, that will give you your LCM. So that would be starting from here, two times two, times two, times by that two, times by this two. So we should have five loss of two. One, two, three, four, five, which is one, two, three, four, five, and then times by the last number, five, okay? So now, let's see what the answer would be. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times by 2 is 32. And 32 times by 5 is 160. So the LCM of 32 and 80 is 160. The highest common factor is 16. So this is the second method for finding the LCM and the HCF. I'm going to use the first method again because people find that very easy to do, but I have to do both of these because it depends on the question in the exam. You could give you a Venn diagram and ask you to work it out. So it's still important that you understand this. But looking at the first method, let's see if we still get 16 and then 160. So let's go to the factors of 32. Factors of 32 are 1 times 32. I'm doing this quickly. 2 times 16. We could have 4 times 
8, okay, 4 times 8. Now let's look at quickly factors of 80. I may not list all of them, but let's see. We could have 1 times 80. We could have 8 times by 10. Okay, we could have 16 times by 5. There are so many, 2 times 40. There are a lot of numbers, but I'm not going to go through all of that. 4 times 20. But you can see that straight away, I can see there is 16 here. There is 16 here. I haven't stopped because I see 16 and 16. I have stopped because the highest number on the 32 side is 32 and 16. Those are the two highest numbers. When I go to the 80 times table, I know that the highest numbers there, you have the 80, you can have 20, but there's no 20 here. So the second highest will be 16. That's why I stopped. So we can see that HCF equals 16. If I want the LCM, I'm quickly going to do some multiples of 32. So you can have 32, you could have 64. The easiest way to do times table is keep adding the number, repeated addition. So 64 plus 32 means the next number will be 96. Okay, 96 plus 32, it means the next number will be 128. 128 plus 32, it will give you 160. I will stop here. Quickly, let's do the 80 times table. It will start off with 80. It goes to 160. I have seen that there is 160 here. There is 160 here. So I don't need to carry on anymore. I want the smallest I can see first. So that means LCM equals 160. So you can do this method or you may do this method if the question doesn't specify. But in some questions, they will give you the Venn diagram or they will give you the prime factors. They will give you this, the product of the prime, and ask you to find the LCM or the HCF. Just write them in this direction and it's easy to find it. So I hope you find this easy and useful to help you to do the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of any number that will be given to you in your exam or in your own revision. So thank you and don't forget, watch, subscribe, comment, bring your own topic and I will do it for you. Thank you very much and share.